Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Gonna teach you a couple of cool, heavy sounding chords, um, alternate power chords, and that main riff. So uh, let's get to it. These are really cool power chords to know. Uh, first, I'm in drop D tuning, so my low string here is, is a whole step down. Matches an octave with my uh, fourth string, my D string. Now, when you play a power chord with the root on the A string, like for instance an E power chord, which is the first chord of this, you've got your index finger on the E note, and you put your ring finger on what's called the fifth, thus the five chord, E5. So that's an E power chord. But what you can do to get a heavy sound when you're in drop D tuning is you're going to play your middle finger on the same fret as your ring finger, but on the low string here. And I actually will use my ring, index, and pinky because that's more comfortable. But when I add distortion, check it out. It's a it's a thicker, heavier chord, um, kind of reminiscent of of maybe a seven string guitar or a drop C. You know, you get this low sound. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna track our ring fingers fret just because it's the top one. So so it starts on the ninth fret. Then we're gonna go a whole step down, same chord. Then another whole step down then a half step down, back to seven. So watch. chords there to, to learn. Okay, I'm going to turn my distortion off again so we can learn um, this riff and have it be clean just so you can, you know, hear the articulation, okay? So, remember we're in drop D, but so I'm going to take my index finger and put it on the seventh fret of the A string. That's the only time our hand has to go in or out of a position. So we're going to go then with my middle finger, I'm gonna go to the 10th fret of the A string, and I'm gonna alternate between the 10 and the nine between my middle and my index, so watch. See that? Then we're gonna go to the nine on the D, so watch. Ten on the A is what we just added. So we have next. We're going to add. If you can do your pinky, it's probably the best idea to the pinky to the twelfth fret in on this low string here, like that, and that replace now this seventh fret on the A string. Instead of that note, now we played this. So the pattern keeps doing this little part the exact same way. And the first note would be this. Then the pinky on the 12 of the sixth string. Then middle finger on the 10th fret. And then index on the 9th fret. And then it starts over, so watch.
Starts over. going and it's going underneath the, the, the next part. Uh Hope you had fun with that lesson. Got a bunch more cool lessons on guitarjams.com. You can sign the request list down there and get that free ebook. Otherwise, I'll see you in a, another free lesson real soon. Take care.